Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Welcome to this lesson on how to write a process diagram essay. Process diagram questions can contain a wide variety of different types of graphics. It could be a natural process, such as the water cycle, or a manufacturing process, or the diagram of a system. To write a high-scoring academic Task 1 essay, I recommend that you use this five-step process. First, analyse the question. Second, identify the main features of the graphic. Third, write an introduction. Fourth, write an overview. And fifth, write the details paragraphs. In this lesson, we're going to work through the five stages step by step as we answer a practice question. Before we start, Here's a model essay structure that you can use as a guideline for all academic task 1 questions. Ideally, your essay should have four paragraphs. Paragraph 1 is the introduction. Paragraph 2, an overview. In paragraph 3, you should write about the first main feature. And in paragraph 4, you should write about the second main feature. We now have everything we need to begin planning and writing our essay. Here's our practice question. The diagrams below show a structure that is used to generate electricity from wave power. Summarise the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. The format of every academic task one question is the same. Here's our practice question again with the words that will be included in all questions highlighted. Every question consists of sentence one, which is a brief description of the graphic, sentence two, which is the instructions, and the graphic itself, which might be a diagram, the chart, a graph, a table, a map, etc. Sentence two tells you what you have to do. You must do three things. One, select the main features. 2. Write about the main features and 3. Compare the main features. All three tasks refer to the main features of the graphic. You do not have to write about everything. Just pick out two or three key features and you'll have plenty to write about. The graphic in process diagram questions should not be difficult to understand. There are not usually any numbers to analyse, as in most other types of question, just a diagram to interpret, or, as in our practice question, two diagrams which each show part of the process. All you're looking for are the main features. These should be the easiest things to spot. There will be lots of information in the graphic to help you identify them, especially titles, labels and captions. Here are some useful questions to ask. 1. Is it a linear or a cyclical process? A linear process starts and finishes at different places. It will often involve the manufacture or creation of something, starting with the raw materials going in at one end and the finished product coming out at the other end. An example of this can be seen in this diagram from a past process diagram question about the manufacture of bricks. A cyclical process, on the other hand, is a process that goes back to the beginning and repeats over and over again, such as the life cycle of a frog or a butterfly. Question 2. Where does the process start and end? For a linear process, this will usually be obvious. It may be harder to determine for a cyclical process, so it's important that you examine the graphic carefully to find out. Question 3. How many steps are there to the process? If there are a lot, it can be helpful to number them from one to whatever number the final stage is. Question 4. Can the process be easily broken down into stages? In the brick making graphic, for example, there are three stages. A. Creating the bricks from the clay. B. Manufacturing the finished product by drying and firing. And C. Packaging and delivery. In the life cycle graphic, there are also three distinct stages, as the frog passes through different stages of development. 
These are the egg, the juvenile and the adult. Question 5. What are the raw materials and what is produced at the end of the process? These questions obviously apply only to manufacturing processes. For other types of process, it might be more appropriate to ask the following question, which is question 6. What is the end result of the process? This question is relevant for our practice process diagram, which shows a process that creates something using a particular structure. The end result is the production of electricity. So what main features stand out in our practice graphic? The graphic doesn't contain very much detail, and there are only two stages to the process. Stage 1. Electricity is generated as the wave flows into the structure, as in diagram A. And stage 2. Electricity is also created as the receding wave draws air back down the column, that's in diagram B. Other diagrams are more complex. You'll have to go through the diagram stage by stage to work out what's happening and then pick out just two or three main features to write about. The key features you select will be the starting point for your essay. You will then go on to add more detail later. However, with just 20 minutes allowed for task one and a requirement of only 150 words, you won't be able to include many details. We're now ready to begin writing our essay. Here's a reminder of the four-part structure we're going to use. Paragraph 1 is the introduction. Paragraph 2, the overview. Paragraph 3, we cover the first main feature. And paragraph 4, we write about the second main feature. First, the introduction. There isn't room to include the graphic on each slide but if you want to refer to it as we work through the four paragraphs, bring up the process diagram lesson on my website ieltsjackie.com where you'll be able to see it. The link is in the notes below. In the introduction, you should simply paraphrase the question, that is, say the same thing in a different way. You can do this by using synonyms and changing the sentence structure. For example, the question the diagrams below show a structure that is used to generate electricity from wave power. And here's an example introduction. The two diagrams illustrate a method of creating electricity from the forces of waves using a specifically designed man-made construction. And that's all you need to do for the introduction. In the second paragraph, you should give a general description of the diagram or the process. The detail comes later in the essay. State the information simply using synonyms where possible. No elaborate vocabulary or grammar structures are required, just the appropriate words and correct verb tenses. For example, the structure consisting of a wave chamber and a tall column containing a turbine is erected on a steeply sloping coastal cliff or seawall where it is subject to the movement of the ocean waves. Paragraphs 3 and 4 of your process diagram essay are where you include more detailed information. In paragraph 3, you should explain the first key feature in more detail. For this question, we will expand on the first stage of the process. Here it is again. Stage 1. Electricity is generated as the wave flows into the structure. And this is an example of what you could write. The first diagram shows how the incoming wave fills a large chamber and forces the air inside this space up the column and through the turbine. The pressure of the air rotates the turbine, which generates a current of electricity. The process does not end there, for the structure is able to continue producing power as the sea recedes, as can be seen in the second diagram. For the fourth and final paragraph, you do the same thing for your remaining key features. Or for this question, it'll be the second stage of the process. Here it is again. Stage two. Electricity is also created as the receding wave draws air back down the column. And here's an example of what you could write. As the water now flows away from the structure, 
it draws air back down the column and downwards through the turbine in the same direction as the previous upward flow of air. The turbine continues to turn, thus generating even more electricity. Here are the four paragraphs brought together to create our finished essay. Pause the video and read through it so that you can hear how the four paragraphs flow from one to the other. This sample process diagram essay is just over the minimum word limit, so you can see that you don't have space to include very much detail at all. That's why it's essential to select just a couple of features to write about. Now use what you've learnt in this lesson to practice answering other process diagram questions. Start slowly at first and keep practicing until you can plan and write a complete essay in around 20 minutes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video soon. Goodbye for now.